You've covered a lot of territory with teaching the doubles and the doubles plus one and readying your child for the full spectrum of the facts for addition. Now the practice has to, to occur. If you're working with a, a preschooler or a lower elementary child, you, you could easily put the facts on, the, on a whiteboard or a blackboard or even use sidewalk chalk outside and, and let the children practice. When I work with preschoolers, I usually have a blackboard or a whiteboard that I just put facts on and then leave it alone. And sometime during the time that I'm working with the child, the child will go over and complete the board. So we, are, we would have, and the kids just do this on their own. That's pretty much enough for a, a preschool child or a kindergarten child to just go through those uh, doubles one time at some time during the day. That's uh, something that the child has completed. It's something that they chose to do. And the, uh, the addition facts are going in, going in, and sinking and staying in their little brains over the course of several days. But if you'd like to bump up the, the uh, exercise, I have a good one You for can you. really bump up the practice with addition if you use these really long addition problems. The children are very surprised that they can even do these, but it builds a lot of confidence. I've manipulated the problems so there is, uh, there's no carrying to the next column or transferring your, your numbers over a column until you get to the very end. So I don't have to explain that step to a child yet. I'm telling them that they have to stay in columns starting from the right-hand side of the, of the problem. And basically, they are just practicing their doubles. Kids are quite surprised that they can do these. And the confidence level is very, they, they just feel like they're like their big brother or sister. Here's the next one. Four plus four is eight. Seven plus seven is 14. Here we have, I've introduced a zero into it to make sure that they remember that zero plus zero is zero. And <clears throat> they look back and they're very surprised and they, they, they think they're pretty pretty important too when they can do these big kid numbers. Well, if you're going to challenge them, why don't we go one more round? Try this one, you might say. And two, one plus one is two, two plus two is four, four plus four is eight, seven plus seven is 14. Wow, I did it. Okay, let's challenge you. Why don't I give you a problem that across the whole entire board. Let's try this one. And just fill it up from one side to the next. And then copy your number. Oh my gosh, if a child can do this, they just think that they could do anything. Remember, we're in columns. So we have 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 4 is 8, 0 plus 0, 1 plus 1, 4 plus 4, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 4 plus 4, 3 plus 3, 1 plus 1, 8 plus 8. Wow. If you've gone this far, you might as well tell them that every third number needs a comma. 1, 2, 3, comma. 1, 2, 3, comma. 1, 2, 3, comma. 
and now you've introduced the beginnings of place value.